this is the latest development in my experimentation in order to build a fuselage so that the front wing of the foil is going to bolt straight into the mast. So in my previous experiment, I used 3D printed material in order to build a fuselage like this one. So this was the first prototype I built. The walls were really thin. So what happened, I've been writing this for over a year. I realized there's a tiny airline crack that developed here due to fatigue. So in a second version, I increased the, thickness, the thickness of the wall in order to give it extra strength. But still, if I wanted a full peace of mind, I decided to, get, to go with aluminum. So when using this 3D printing model, in addition, I noticed that if I was using over a thousand millimeter span front wing, I could sometimes bend the front M8 screw that are used to connect the front wing to the mast. So in response to this, in order to have something that is going to be a little heavier but more stiff, I decided to build one from CNC. So this one weighs about 250 grams, this one is 125. So this is a little heavier but overall not that much. You can see the finish here, the whole assembly for the mast, the fuselage, the stab and the front wing, this is about 2.35 kilograms. And here you can see it's, it's really flush, the tolerance are really good. This is kind of an experiment for me, a learning experience to see how to tolerance CNC part. So it took me a couple of trials, but at the end I dialed it up. Uh, you can see here the whole fuselage. And the file, if you want to produce one for yourself, is in the video description, along with some drawings that will allow you to go see your machine shop and ask to build it for you. So if we look in more detail, so you look at the screen here, you can see a cut for the uh, fuselage. So you can see this should be an M6 by one. This is an M8 by 125. These two are M6 by one. So you can see there's a little protrusion here. This makes it compatible only with either a no limits fuse uh, mast or the regular uh, axis aluminum one. If you use an axis carbon mast, we don't have the uh, pocket in the a math adapter there to accommodate for this, you would need to modify the drawing. This is not a fundamental limitation, it's just I haven't done it because these are not the maths I'm writing. In terms of uh, drawing, you can see here, if you provide this with the different tab configuration, any machine shop will be able to do it. In my case, I did it with first part. This cost me about $120, $160 US to make. So you can, the advantage with CNC is that whenever you use these uh, 3D printed material, there's a lot of machine specific setting that you need to dial right. Whereas with this, you can directly see any CNC machining shop and they're gonna be able to do it and it should be okay part after part. It's not perfect as I said, but it's pretty good. And keep in mind, this is an experimental project. Uh, there's still gonna be some challenges. There's gonna be some stuff you might discover while writing it. So you're writing it at your own risk. In terms of maneuverability and behavior, the foil really behaves the same way as when using the tree printed part. I don't see any difference from either stiffness or from the uh, or from the uh, weight of the fuselage itself. It behaves really good. It really opens up that playfulness of the foil and it allows for some tight turns and tight carving. In terms of pumping ability, we don't see any difference by moving the mass forward. It still maintains the same foil pumping ability. And uh, in terms of upwind tractability, I feel that I can go upwind with a little better angle by moving the mass forward, but I would need to compare side by side with the two exact same foil in order to be able to confirm this. So overall, what it allow is to really allow people that would like to use this to lower the bar in order to be able to make one of these CNC uh, machine fuselage. As I said, all the files required are in the video description. And if you need the instruction to make this rear part as in a carbon tube, this is available in the previous video if you want to make one for your own.